Hey friends, and welcome to day 14 of our advent calendar series. My name is Emma Fave, and today we're going to be painting a penguin. People have requested a cute little holiday penguin, so that's what we're going to do. Don't forget, if you guys like this video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe so you don't miss a single video this month. All right, let's get started. Okay, friends, so now we're gonna jump into our penguin painting. I saw a lot of illustrations on Pinterest of penguins and scarves and penguins and hats, and I just, I thought it was really cute. So I thought maybe like a cute little penguin in a hat would be a cute idea. So again, I'm painting on my Arches cold press watercolor paper. I have my Winsor Newton Professional Watercolors. I have my size two, my size six round brush, water paper towel, and then my pencil and eraser, and we're ready to go. So the first thing I'm gonna do is sketch out this little penguin. We're gonna try and make it as easy as possible. If you guys know me, you know, I don't really like painting animals. And so far, I think I'm gonna do three in this series. We did a bird, now we're gonna do a penguin, and then the other one, you're gonna have to wait and see what it is, but there is one more animal coming. <laughs> so I'm gonna start off with kind of like an oval shaped head. Nothing too round because there's gonna be a hat on top. Like so. Like that. Maybe, maybe a little bit more rounded. Like that. Okay, and then the face is gonna have this cute little, let's do the beak first. So kind of like a triangle and then it kind of points down like this, like a diamond shape almost. And then from the beak, you're gonna have two kind of round places where it's gonna be white on the face, like that. Now this isn't gonna be a realistic penguin. This is gonna be a little illustrated penguin, so it's not gonna be about realism or anything. It's just gonna be cute and fun. All right, and then we have the body. So let's just do a big kind of oval shape for the body here, boop, like that. And then I'm gonna have the flipper, fins, arms, whatever, kind of come out the side here. They're a little bit thinner and they have this like curved edge. Then we have the feet. So I'm gonna, uh, I should actually look up a picture. They're like webbed feet. I don't know how many toes they have, but we're just gonna go one, two, three, four, five. I don't know. We'll see, that works. You can tell it's a penguin. <laughs> and I'm just gonna fluff out the bottom here just a bit. Okay, then I wanna just kind of mark out where the white is gonna be. So it's white at the bottom, and then there's gonna be a bit of black in this area, so like so, but we don't really have to mark it out too much. We can make it blend it a bit more um, with some wet on wet once we're done. Okay, and now let's put a hat on this guy. So I'm gonna start by doing just kind of like a rim around same kind of curve as the head, like that, and then a rounded kind of triangular top. And we can do a pom pom, boop, 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 like so. And then we can just do some eyes, just some circular or oval eyes like that. And I think that's pretty cute, right? <laughs> so now I'm just gonna take my eraser and erase any parts that I don't need and lighten up my sketch. And we can start. Okay, so I'm gonna start off, I think, with the head. Let's do the head first. Actually, again, the parts that are white are not going to be stark white. So we're going to do a very light wash of gray again. So there's like little parts that jump off the page. Really, really, really light wash of black. I'm going to do over the whole face except for the nose. Or the whole head and the eyes. Why not? I mean, the eyes are going to be black anyway, but doesn't matter. Okay, so there we go, like that. Now if you wanna just wash off your brush a bit, dry on your paper towel and just kinda of lift up some of that color just so it's a little bit lighter, you can. 
Okay, and now I'm gonna take some black. I don't have a lot of water on my brush because I don't want it to bleed too much into the white areas, but I want kind of like a soft edge around the white. I'm just gonna kind of tap it around the face. And if you feel like there's still too much paint on your brush, tap it on your, on your paper towel a little bit. I'm just gonna tap it around here. And you're gonna get this fuzzy kind of texture. So it looks kind of like feathers. Go down the middle here. Like so, see that fuzzy edge? I just think it makes it look all nice and furry, which is cute. Like so. And if it goes too much into what you like, like the, the whiter areas, I'm gonna wash off my brush completely. Maybe I'll take my smaller brush, wash it off, dry it, and just kind of clean up the edges just a little bit. And we can always add white ink too after, but I kind of like the fuzziness of it. If you don't want to make it fuzzy, you can just do a light wash of gray for the whole face, let it completely dry, then just mark in the black. Totally up to you. Um, I'm also going to take a little bit of this black and just kind of do a little feather kind of edges like so. And then um, I'm going to let that completely dry so it doesn't, the face doesn't bleed into the body. Okay, now let's work on the body. Same kind of thing. Light wash of gray over the whole body. Just so that white part is not stark white. If you wanted to, you could add a little bit of blue too, or maybe even Payne's gray to the white area, which would be the stomach, just to have a little bit of a blue undertone. You could do that. Let's try that. I'm just going to put this down first. Like that. Let's grab a little bit of blue. Maybe add a little bit of blue to the belly. Some areas like that. Could have added a little bit of blue to the face or maybe under there. Okay, and then again, we're going to take our black. I wash and dry off my brush before I do so. And because it's all wet, it should have that feathery kind of bleed. And I'm just going to go around the body not around the bottom, around the sides, under the neck, and on the wings, are they wings, flippers, arms, <laughs> okay. Now it's a little bit drier up here, which is why I'm not getting much of that bleed. But I'll show you how I can fix that. Again, if this style or this method of doing this where it's wet on wet is not working for you, let it all dry first and then add your black in. You don't have to do it like this. I just kind of wanted to try it. There we go. Now I have a bit more of a, a bleed. Just because I want it to look a little bit more like feathers like so. Okay. All right. And then you're going to let that part dry. And while we're letting it dry, because our head is already dry, um, we can do the hat. So pick the color of the hat you want. Um, what color? Red, green, blue. Let's do a blue. Why not? Let's just do a blue. I'm thinking ice, penguins. I'm going to do this like kind of turquoisey blue and you can do whatever color you want. Make it fun. Okay, I'm just gonna start with, again, always with a light wash over the whole hat. If you wanted to do little stripes on it or something, you could do that too. Totally up to you, but starting with my light wash. Then I'm gonna grab more of that color. I'm gonna go around the brim here, around the sides, around the top, pom-pom. Around this part. So see how you get those light areas? Like highlights and stuff. And then I'm going to take a darker blue. Whatever blue you want. And I'm going to add that as a bit more shadow. So I'm using some Windsor blue. I'm going to add it on one side. Like 
like so. A little bit more to the pom-pom there. And if it's kind of like a stark line there, again, wash off your brush, dry it, and blend it out. Okay, and then let that dry. Let's do the feet, so orange feet. And you can grab a little bit of brown and just kind of tap it underneath the belly so there's a little bit of shadow on the feet so they don't look flat. Like that. And then same with the beak. Get your orange beak. Just make sure that the face is dry. Starting with a lighter wash with our orange, then I'm going to grab a bit more, maybe tap a little bit to the sides, maybe even a darker orange. I'm just adding a little bit of red to my orange. Like that. You can add a little bit of dark red to the feet too if you wanted in that shadowy area, like so. And then you can put in those eyes. I'm just using some black. I'm going to draw them on. Draw them on. Paint them on. If you want to take a marker and it's easier to do the eyes with a marker or a pen, you could do that. Just some simple circle eyes, maybe like a little line underneath. Like that. Cute. Okay, and then let it completely dry and we'll finish with some detail. Okay, detail time. So let's start with the hat. Again, I'm just gonna grab a little bit more of that darker blue. And everything should be dry, so I'm just gonna just sharpen up some of the edges a bit. Like that. Just adding some shadow, especially over the brim area there. Maybe a bit on the sides. And then I'm just gonna add some extra little lines I think there so it looks like a fuzzy little pom-pom okay there we go and you can always do a pattern like I said if you want then I'm gonna take some black and we're just gonna do some feathered little strokes on the face a bit maybe a bit under the hat closer to the face if you want. You don't have to. Actually, that kind of looks a little weird. Do I want to darken all this up? Ah, why not? Why not? Just doing these little strokes just to darken up the face a bit, but not completely. Like that. I'm going to do a little thing on the beak here. Just a little bit of darkness like that. I'm going to make the arms darker, just like a line like that. So it looks like there's an inside and then just kind of come back up. So a thicker line down like it's the side and then there's like the underneath kind of. You can do the little feather strokes. Like that if you want to do a couple more down at the bottom totally up to you how you want to do this as so much detail or as less detail as you'd like maybe a little bit on the feet just a little bit of outlining on the toes a little bit more on the neck maybe like so and then lastly I'm just gonna take a little bit of white I bleed proof white. I'm going to do a tiny little thing on the eye here, maybe on the beak a bit, maybe even on the hat if you want, and maybe even some white textured feathers on the stomach. Totally up to you though. And there we go. There is our cute little snow penguin. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you for tomorrow's advent calendar video. Have a great day, guys.
Bye.